What's good, yo? So it's your boy, it's your boy Swervo. And it's a tour I'm gonna share how to do a little basement effect. So let's get into it. This first one is gonna be the first example of the basement effect. People were asking me how I got this basement effect in this beat. So I'm gonna play the beat and let y'all hear it. So that was the beginning of that beat. Then we'll play this one. Uh, this is another beat I made, but it's got Gunner's vocals on it. And it sounds like it sounds like you're listening to Gunna, a song from Gunna in some speakers, like from in a different room. That's what it sounds like. All right, so those are the two examples of the basement effect. I'm not sure what other people call it. That's just what I call it. I call it the basement effect. So this is the beat we're going to be working with. I just chose this beat because uh, we got the drums coming in already at the beginning. So uh, up here on the master channel, I got Fruity Parametric EQ2, Reverb 2, Fruity Convolver, and Valhalla Ventures Verb, and Pro Reverb by Fab Filter. I'm going to show y'all how you can get this effect with just stock plugins and then i'm gonna show you how you can get this effect easier with just third party plugins so first off we're gonna start up here with parametric eq2 this is really just for you to help control what frequencies you want to be heard in it for instance um so you'll see that when i bring in the fruity reverb just with the fruity reverb 2 by itself uh on default preset is what it sound like So that's just with the default reverb on it, no tweaking. Um, but what you want to do is you want to come here to the presets, right click, and you want to go to drum room. And this is what it sounds like. You may like that, you may not. You may not. If you don't like it, you come up here, you bring up the wet knob, bring down the dry knob. And the, the lower you lower the dry knob, the more it'll sound like it's further away. So. So this is how it sounds like Fruity Convolver with the default preset. All right, so it just sounds like a bunch of ambience. Uh, so you're gonna do is click hit, right click up here. I'm gonna find this preset under reverb devices called basement. So this is what it sounds like with the basement preset. Saying this before, bring the dry knob down. Then bring the wet knob up. So that's, that's Fruity Convolver. So next, we're gonna take our Parametric EQ2 as well as well i'm just gonna bring valhalla ventures verb so this is what it sounds like with regular ventures verb so obviously the regular default presets is not made for that so what you want to come down here to presets then you want to go to rooms then you want to go to uh tile room at the bottom and now you want to uh, play it So that sounds much better, more crisp, more clear than the other uh, Fruity Reverb and Fruity Convolver. Um, and you can tweak this with your liking, you know, change the mix, all that. So that's Valhalla Ventures Verb. Valhalla Ventures Verb 
is only 50 bucks um so it's not that much it's not it won't hurt you it won't hurt your wallet that much as much as some of the other plugins would uh but it's only 50 bucks if you want to get that so moving on to pro r from bad filter this plugin is 199 dollars so i definitely prefer the Valhalla vengeance verb price wise and feature wise the only difference the main difference between Valhalla uh, vengeance verb and this one is this one's got an equalizer it's it's nice it's nice to know nice to have if you you know if you're doing you're gonna do all the advanced stuff and get real unique and precise with your reverb but and here you want to come up here to the preset you can click this then you want to go down here to small then uh, you want to come down here to uh, tight small room and then you want to turn down this mix knob a little bit And that's not the only preset that work. There's a couple presets that'll work in here. Uh, you can use Drum Studio. So that's pretty much all the uh, plugins. You pretty much can get this effect with almost any type of reverb plugin as long as you know you control the uh, wet knob, dry knob, uh, close far, and all that good stuff. Like in here, this is distance. This would basically be uh, the dry knob. This is the best way I feel that you can achieve the basement effect. So that's it. I make sure y'all like the video if it helped you out. Leave a comment if it helped you. If you got any questions, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And uh, we got more tutorials on the way. Make sure you join the Discord in the description section. We're hosting a beat battle. We host beat battles almost every other week. $50 um, cash prize. You get to do cash up. Um, the theme has been placement beats, but we're going to change the theme up as we go on and we get more people in. But uh, it's $50. We don't usually have a lot of people enter. So, you know, y'all invite people, y'all invite your friends, different things like that. And um, to end the end, because you can win, you know, 50 bucks easy. So, all right, I'm out. Hey, hey,